Welcome to the desert of the real. That was just on the line. Mm-hmm. Um, peace to Queen Esther. Peace to Natural. Peace to Cosmic. Even though I haven't seen Cosmic in a while, but peace to her. You know, these are the sisters that are always on, regardless. You know, regardless of the topic. And I really feel like a lot more sisters need to become involved as far as building the community. You know what I mean? Because the, that's the reason why they were so intrigued by the topic, because all you have to do is put sex in the topic, and then everybody comes out of the woodwork. But mm. not, you know, not many people are, you know, serious about building community. And if you're not serious about building the community or saving the children, you don't care about life, okay? Because if all that gets your attention is sex, that's sad, that's a problem. You know, right. and sadly to say, a lot of sisters, you know, they think about that. And when you posted the topic on um, Facebook, a lot of people misread the premise of the show. It's not, is a conscious man sexy? It's not, I mean, that's not the premise of the show. The premise of the show is why aren't, well, I mean, it's a part of the show, but really the most important thing of the premise or the most important point of the premise is that the cultural, social, and economic and political issues, why don't we have the women turning out in record numbers for these shows? You know, those are the most important, not sex. I mean, sex and relationships and, you know, love are important because it builds family, but, and that's a, that's one thing that we're missing as far as a community and a culture, but most importantly, we need to get ourselves together spiritually, and politically and economically, that's mm-hmm. most important. Then we have family because we have that. Take those things are taken care of. Right, the family lives within that context. Exactly. I mean, you mm-hmm. take one piece of the puzzle, you work on that most important piece. Then, you know, and and with with relationships, and you know, do we think men are, you know, is a conscious man sexy? And a lot of women say, yes, yes, a conscious man is sexy, but with a turn on. Not every man is a, is a turn on that's conscious, okay? Right. Doesn't, it, no, there's a difference, okay? Just because a man is conscious, that's not going to make me, that's not going to make me sleep with him. That won't happen. But it's about that man and the connection that we have. Right. Not just because he's smart or he has knowledge of self, No. That's the that's a basic requirement. That's a basic right. <laughs> requirement. Keep in mind, basic. That's a prerequisite. Okay? Exactly. That's no. That's basic. The prerequisites are, you know, the courses that are that are focused on your core curriculum. Right. Definitely. And you know, you touched on something as Aida spoke about. Like when I asked the question, and you know the the question was like you know loaded, <laughs> and and a lot of the sisters who um, saw it noticed it, but a, a great deal of them didn't, and they focused in on sexy. Like right. you said, they focused in on sexy, but they didn't focus in on consciousness. It wasn't about sexiness. It, like you said, it was about 
Why is it consciousness? The thing when you when you're talking about being culturally aware, socially aware, economically and politically aware, why isn't that something that if people are drawn to but they're drawn to sex and relationships? First of all, that most of the, first of all, most of the sisters to answer the question, most of the sisters that are in the community, a lot of them are new a lot of the stuff is new to them. So, you know, like Lock Ness was saying a lot of times they don't feel comfortable about it, but keep in mind, a lot of fe- the majority of the females are caught in the matrix. So mm-hmm. within the matrix, there's a lot of social programming with sex. Then uh, we're bombarded with sex on TV, internet, radio, whatever. Mm-hmm. We're bombarded with sex. So they're still in the matrix. Of course, the numbers, as far as the conscious community are concerned or the African-centered community are concerned, the men outnumber the women. And that, you know, construct. But most, a lot of the sisters that are in the community, some of them are new. So, you know, we just had to give them a little time. And some of the sisters that have been in the community for a while or, you know, that have applied more of an African-centered concept or way of life, you know, into their life, though, or they, or they have an uh, African-centered way of life, for them to just kind of start to mentor these sisters and reach out to them and then start to show them some things and then it goes from there. Then you'll see these sisters, you know, on the shows that are about nation building. Then you'll see that. But mm-hmm. until then, you don't have that. But it just, and, and also with, sister, um, with sisters and things of that nature, we have to begin to build our sisterhood and strengthen our sisterhood because we don't have, the type of relationship that we should have with each other. Mm-hmm. Cool. As but, usual, you drop it. But and thank you, brother. But I also <laughs> would like to, on an added note, brothers are not off the hook because they do use the consciousness as a little way for them to get a little play too. Yeah. See, thank I'm. I, I feel personally affected by that too. Oh really? How yeah. so? Because you know, like we 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 are all, you know in this together. So like when people do things, they don't realize that it's not just them, but they represent people as well. So, you know, like you have, and you have the brothers out here who um, speak about the topics that I speak about and who have the, the cultural aesthetic and they're bootlicking Negroes, then what's to differentiate me from them? You know what I'm saying? Like when you look on the surface, you might put me under the same category as them because of the bullshit that they're doing. Exactly. So, you know, we're all responsible for one another, and we need to start acting responsibly. Well, you know what? I would say, like I said before, you have the real show on Blog Talk, okay? Thank and you. I'm sure you're welcome. And I'm sure, uh, aside from Dev, you know, in the zone, but that's another story. Aside from you Make sure you say that. <laughs> <laughs> aside from that. But, you know, the thing is is that they know about you. And I'm not, and you know me, I'm not holding any punches. You know me. They know about you, and it's their responsibility to also connect with you. So if they don't connect with you, then you know they're playing games. Because you're a serious brother, and you're serious about nation building and community and a legacy for our children to have more than what they have now you know, and not for them to have to hunt for the knowledge itself, for it to be instilled in them at birth. So right. while they're in the womb. So they know about you. They're not, to me, <clears throat> they're not serious. If they don't, if they are not trying to connect with you, then they're not serious. And it's just a matter of time to where you have, you know, it'll be a time, matter of time to where they have to fall in line mm-hmm. because they'll see that what you're about. You're not just soapbox preaching. 